So NOMAD stands for Neonatal Onset Multisystem Inflammatory Disease. So it presents early on in a child's life and it's inflammation that affects the entire system within that patient. NOMAD is one of three diseases that fall under the umbrella heading of CAPS or cryoporin associated periodic syndromes and it is the most severe form of those three. The first being FCAS, the second being Muckle Wells, the third being NOMAD, most severe phenotype. Now what happens with NOMAD is that there is a, um, a genetic mutation which results in an increased production of interleukin-1 or abbreviated as IL-1. And IL-1 is a pro-inflammatory cytokine that causes inflammation throughout the body. And what happens is that you get this inflammation because this is an auto-inflammatory disease manifests in a number of ways. These patients suffer from fevers, skin rashes, inflammation of the joints, um, severe headaches uh, it can result in hearing loss and eye problems. It can also affect some of the larger organs like the heart and the lungs. So you have a hyper inflammatory state that causes a number of problems in different organ systems. And so uh, these patients are very sick and you need to stop that inflammatory process in some way. And because it is strongly driven by cytokines such as IL-1 and IL-6, you need to stop the action of those cytokines. So because it's an auto-inflammatory disease, which is a defect in the innate immune system, and it's systemic, that can affect a number of organ systems. Very common are fevers, skin rashes, um, joint inflammation, some of these patients suffer from hearing loss, from eye problems, and it can also affect some of the larger organs like the heart and the lungs and cause inflammatory states in those systems which can cause subsequent pro uh, problems for the patients.